Hi everyone, in this uh, video we are going to see how you can uh, support Google Tag Manager custom events with Metomo Tag Manager. So what are we talking about here? We are talking about this given part of the Metomo documentation, which is explaining that uh, please note that uh, we do not support any rename data layer variable. The Mat Tomo data layer will also not be updated when you push changes to the, DG, DG, to the GTM data layer afterward. It's only pick up the initial data layer content, so to say. When you are migrating from Google Tag Manager to Matomo Tag Manager, by default, it only supports the static data layer. Everything which is happening after, such as custom event, is not supported. So let's imagine that you remove Google Tag Manager from your website, so to say the main container, then it means that uh, it's going to be problematic. Um, the solution I'm going to show you today is about this part out. Um, so the ID came from uh, Ronan Hello, so you can uh, follow him on GitHub uh, OpenMost. And he created a script which allow you to support custom events, and that's what uh, the demo of today is going to be about. So typically, uh, it consists of copying and pasting this script as a custom HTML, putting it on all uh, the, let's say, the page view, so let's say to associate it with a trigger page view. And then um, you can either let Google Tag Manager tracking code on the page, or you can add an empty data layer in order to support it. So in the example I have over here, what I did is that I have a button over here. Within this button, as you can see, I have a data layer push event. So this is the structure of a custom event within Google Tag Manager. So this is sending uh, a custom event to Google Tag Manager, at least with the structure of uh, Google Tag Manager. So by default, it's not supported by Matomo. But if you are uh, adding at the top of your page, so as I did over here, so as I did over here, so just in my case, I decided not to integrate uh, Google Tag Manager, but to add an empty uh, Google Tag Manager data layer in order for it to be supported. And surprisingly, it works. Uh, you have to precise that uh, for this tutorial, uh, this is uh, Ronan who explained me everything. So. Um, this is how it works. So you need to add a tag, uh, name a data layer listener or anything that you want. It's a custom HTML tag and you copy and paste the code that I was showing you on the uh, GitHub URL page of Ronan. Then you add the trigger, which is going to be on all the pages. Okay, so this script here is going to listen if there is any push made to the data layer. Then uh, you need to add a variable, uh, the variable, no, you don't need to add a variable. You need to add a custom event and the custom event is going to carry the name of uh, the value that you are pushing to the data layer. So to say in my case, that's the one uh, that we are seeing on my page. So to say this, <coughs> this event over here. Uh, and uh, Next, uh, next thing to do is that uh, you need, of course, uh, to create uh, an event if you would like to measure what is happening here. So in my case, I decided to create a tracking type event for Matomo with dummy data and then said that you react on the custom event named hello. Okay, all good uh, so far. And as a result now, if you are connecting to the website. So in my case, I don't have Google Tag Manager anymore on the page, but if I just click over here, I have my custom event, which is sent uh, over here. You can see here, Matomo Analytics event. It works. And as a result, my data are sent, uh, in my case, with the value that I was indicating you before. So uh, the, the dummy data. Um, I don't know if I want to double check this, but oops. Oops, and I should get a visit for the 22 of May with blah, blah, blah. So this is full of spam and analysis. 
and those are the one that we just made some seconds ago. So just to sum it up, uh, you have a great URL here with a great guy. You make a script uh, for you that you can copy and paste uh, within a custom HTML tag, trigger on all the pages, and then do not forget to add, if you would like to get rid of Google Tag Manager, an empty Google Tag Manager data layer at the beginning of uh, your, uh, your head. If not, uh, that's not going to work. So to say that's what I did uh, over the past days, it wasn't working. I didn't understand why. And the reason is that we need to understand where to send the data. So he needs to add. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.